There are trains your kids can run and play with. The show has all sizes of trains. Learn and have fun at the same time. The show is for the whole family. Kids under 12 are free. Have fun this weekend at the Dulles Expo Center. Right now at 11, families fear their kids are caught in a danger zone. Why, after a year, they haven't gotten a crossing guard at their school. Seven on your side gets answers from DDOT. I'm tracking what could be the coldest night of the season so far. I'll walk you through the temperature hour by hour drop. Plus, new details on those claims of stolen taxpayer funds in Ward 8. What we've just learned about the activity in a now frozen account. And piling presents under the tree. The serious need highlighted by one unique holiday decoration. Now, ABC 7 News at 11. On your side, we begin with a breaking news alert. And that breaking news on the Hill, the first marathon debate on the articles of impeachment ended just minutes ago. The House Judiciary Committee deciding on whether to charge the president with abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. It is the next critical step, sometimes procedural, other times heated. Each member of the 41-person panel, 24 Democrats, 17 Republicans, get their say, trying to convince each other and the country their side is right. Speed. This is not about Ukraine. Facts are on the president's side. Zelensky said he wasn't pressured. Ukrainians didn't even know aid was held at the time of the call. President Trump's stonewall was complete, absolute, and without precedent in American history. And I tremble that God is just and his justice won't sleep forever. Flavorful. Abuses, the obstruction of Congress have come from Congress. President Trump has solicited foreign interference before he is doing it now and he will do it again republican colleagues now the full committee will be back tomorrow again to debate some more that is also when the panel is expected to vote to send the charges to the full house from there the entire chamber could vote as early as next week to charge the president that would trigger a senate trial that takes two-thirds majority to convict and remove the president the trial would likely be held in january if this timeline holds Seven on your side, learning new details tonight on the investigation of missing taxpayer money from an advisory neighborhood commission account. Now, last week, we reported that an ANC member accused two others of theft from Ward 8E. We checked in with the D.C. office that oversees the commissions. Investigators say they've identified several, quote, suspicious transactions in the account, but say it's too early to say if any commissioners committed a crime. Right now, the account is frozen by the district. New tonight, parents in D.C. say their request for crossing guards where their children go to school is being ignored. DDOT actually provides a map of where every single crossing guard is positioned in relation to the city's schools. Red dots are schools, green dots are guards. And if you look closer at Rocket Ship Legacy Prep, there is not one crossing guard, despite sitting between busy streets like Pennsylvania Avenue, Southern Avenue, and Ridge Road. Seven on your side's Annalisa Gale is at the school with frustrated parents. Michelle, DDOT says they were really hoping that parents would take advantage of this parking lot and step out of the way here. You can see this is near Alabama Avenue, but parents say there is another side of the school that's a lot more popular, and they want to see that a crossing guard or a crosswalk is put there. Cars will come through their speed, you got the kids coming around, everybody, you got to just be cautious, you know. Parents say Rocket Ship Legacy Prep is equipped with lots of great tools for students, but they say there are a few things missing. Um, it kind of speaks for itself that there needs to be a crosswalk yes, here. In a new petition, parents say they have been calling for help from city officials for over a year, particularly on Massachusetts Avenue between Fort DuPont Terrace and Boulevard Lane. That's where they believe a crosswalk and a crossing guard is needed before and after. After school. The street is busy. A lot of kids, as you can see, are just running back and forth. On this busy Wednesday, we saw no assistance being provided to parents and students after dismissal near the busy intersection. People be trying to, um,